It's me, Mario. Guess who it is, everybody? <gasps> he winked at me. <gasps> oh my good gravy. Look at the star. What? It kind of missed. Oh, there we go. There's a star. A silver star and a red star. Neither of which are things in this game. Huh. Interesting. There's a way to get a hand on the screen. I don't know how it is, though. Oh, there it is. How do we zoom in now? Oh, no. I figured out how to zoom out. I don't know how to zoom. Ah, oh, there we go. I just got to press B a bunch. What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris. And welcome to the best Super Mario game in existence. Just, just kidding. Well, maybe. I, apparently, it doesn't age very well. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to lock. Do I press B? No. B is just to zoom in and out, apparently. I'm trying to figure out how to lock. No. There we go. You hold R so you can make Mario do goofy faces. Look at that. Goofy face. Oh, snap. We make one ear go that way. We make one ear go that way. Yeah, look at that. Isn't it goofy? Everybody, sing along with me. Goof, 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 goof. Goof, 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 goofy troop. Oh, it's so silly and glitchy. Wow. Never in my life have I seen something so beautiful. That's definitely going to probably be the screenshot of this episode. Anyways, this is Super Mario 64. Something I've tried to record. I believe this is my fourth time now. Toadstool Peach. Last time she's referenced as Toadstool. They even made like a transition there. They signed it as Toadstool, but they called her Peach. Isn't that interesting? I think it is. Anyways, the very first 3D game in existence. Just kidding. <laughs> There's the first Nintendo 64, which I believe that was the first 3D console though, right? Like, I'm sure there was a whole bunch of 3D games on their computer at this point, but... Nothing like this. In a world... Okay, I'm just gonna not even do that. Oh my good gravy. <laughs> Yahoo! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, everybody. Ciao, Cialio, Cialis. You've reached Princess Toad Steel's castle via warp pipe. Weird use of language. You're using the control as a piece of cake. Cool. Uh, pff, press B to read signs. Now head for the castle. <laughs> I can't do that. I don't think. Probably too complicated. Princess Toad Steel's castle is just ahead. <laughs> so yes, this is Super Mario 64. Like I said, I've tried to record this four times now. Each time, I wasn't very really happy with the recordings, and I got kind of really frustrated because this game is not as easy as I remember it being, or remember seeing people playing it. So yeah, you can actually climb up trees if you skim through that like I did. Woo! Oh, Mario, nobody wants to see that. Haha, <laughs> it's a humping joke. Uh, Mario has all his classic jumps, like the backflip. Actually, I'm pretty sure most of these jumps are new to the game. He has a long jump, he has a side flip. That's definitely new. Um... Well, you know, new when you consider this is the first 3D Mario game, not not new as in this is the first time you've seen it on my channel. And yeah, you could swim and all that. It, it's pretty, it's all fairly obvious. Okay, let's stop wasting time. Let's go to the castle. Let's go to the Bowser in his castle. Whoa, would you guys see that? I swear someone appeared in front of the door for like a split second there. Good afternoon, Lockheed Rose here. You're reporting live from just outside of Princess's Castle. You know what I just... Well, okay, I didn't just realize this, but I realized this my first time recording this, or attempting to. <laughs> There's two Lock two brothers. I thought Lockheed brothers, you know, there was just one, which makes no sense. But, well, I just arrived on the scene, and we'll be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. So I just thought this was just the camera, and the, this showing the Lakitu brother. Like, the Lakitu brothers are the camera in this game. Yup, it's crazy. As a seasoned cameraman, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle. We could change the camera angle. If we can't adjust the view any farther, we'll make a buzz. Uh, to take a look at surrounding, stop and press C. Yup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Signs along the way, well, was blah, 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 blah. For now, we're probably live. This has been the Lakitu brothers. Oh, snappers. No, I wish to see... Yeah, you could never catch him leaving. I always want to see at what point he disappears and all that, but it never works. So, hey, that's actually cool. I, I really like how this game, you're just in a castle, and that's the hub world. Not as cool as Isle Delfino, but probably this, I probably like it better than, uh, 
um, Super Mario Galaxy, the hub world there, Rosalina's spaceship. Welcome! No one's home! Now scram and don't come back! <laughs> and Super Mario Galaxy 2 especially, that probably has the worst hub world of the Mario games. Is I just want to talk to him! Am I glad to see you, the princess, and I, and, well, everyone! Everybody, we're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stolen the castle stars and he's using the power grid as on roll to paint things on the walls. Please cover the power stars. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry, you guys. It'll murder me. Uh, if you find them, use the power to open the doors of Bowser's seal. There are four rooms on the first floor, starting in the one with the painting on the bomb on the side. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. Wow, what a silly guy. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with a big star. The princess must be inside. I'm sure she isn't. Okay, let's just jump into it. So yeah, there's all these doors with stars on them. If like that one just had a star, if it had a star and a number, that would mean we need that number of stars to open the door. Whoa! Bomb on battlefield, big bomb on the cement. Oh my lord! Well, we smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars inside the power stole power power paint worlds. Paint paint power power. First, talk to bomb on buddy. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades, because <laughs> this is Russia. Welcome, comrade. I want to talk to you. I don't want to punch you. Watch out! If you wander around here, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. Those enemies... What is this? Freaking Twilight Princess or something? Uh, the meadows become a battlefield. Uh, help us recover the battle star. Happy to see you. Really happy. We're so happy we become red rockets. Circular red rockets. Hey you! It's dangerous to go alone, so listen up. Cross two bridges ahead and watch for falling water bombs. Okay, yeah. we're They're bomb bomb guys. All right, everybody. We're I, I mean, it's Mario. You don't need story in the Mario's, right? Is it? I don't know if I would find that annoying if I saw someone do that. That's why I always try to. <laughs> I never know something waddles. <laughs> oh, that's the best. You throw that box and it'll explode in a millions of coins. Oh my God! Is it gonna do it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> no. So this game, this game, man, the most frustrating controls, probably ever. I always seem to have issues with controls in games, and I don't know what was that. There's a freaking magic chain chomp over there. Good lord, I always seem to have problems with controls in games, and this this game definitely is really bad with it. Wow, he's frozen in time. Did you guys see that? Oh my god, we'll come back to him later. So, this first mission here, we're really just gonna fold all the signs that are like, Go this way! This way! This way! No, this way! No, this way! And it's, ah, uh, nice and quick to move when you jump and then you do your little dive. I notice I like doing that when I walk. I don't know if that's actually the fastest way. I don't know. That's what I've kind of taught myself to do. You guys want to see a magic trick? Well, first off, there's these 2D balling objects, which is really weird. It's really weird that there's 2D objects in, like, spherical manner. You guys want to see a magic trick? Look away! Now open your eyes! <gasps> what the heck? Did I travel across the world? Teleport Mario, as some might say. I'm the big bomb -um, Lord of all blasting matter! King of kabooms the world over! How dare you scale my mountain! But what right do you set foot my imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. You'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back or help me off my royal turf? I think you cannot. Pick you up and roll you off the royal turf, eh? Okay, I'll pick you No, 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 no! So that's another issue with this game. All the same buttons do the freaking same dang thing. See, I, I dived at him the first time, and I, just because if you run and press B, it'll make you fall. I, I want to try it. What happens if I like, walk off the edge with him? Oh my god! <laughs> he fell so far away! Could it get away? Oh, I didn't show the cutscene I expected it to, though. You must fight with honor. It's against royal rules to throw the king out of the ring. What royal rules? I don't see any freaking board. See, that's what I'm talking about. The grab button... Is the same. The only difference between diving and grabbing slash punching is. Hold on, let's see if we get as close as we can to hurl him so very far. Ah, oh, you see the camera pan out? You can like see the whole level pretty much. <laughs> it looks so bad when you do that. Ah! 
I didn't, I didn't expect to be able to move during all that. So you can say it again? Oh, do I just got to rock to him? Yeah, yeah, fight with honor. Okay, let's fight him for real now. Oh, no! Oh, no! Ow. Okay, so this guy actually doesn't even hurt you unless he tosses you off the actual mountain. Then you take fall damage. So, easiest boss ever. Although understandable. It's the first boss in a Zelda game. Wait, what? And then he does this for a while. I don't know how to un deactivate that. Oh, okay, I guess maybe you just gotta get far enough away from him. Or he'll follow you no matter what. So it's impossible to get behind him. Maybe it's probably just to make the boss battle last longer than five seconds. But you could run through him for some reason. Ah, oh, I ran right into his hands. Even though I was doing that millions of times. Whoa, oh, snap! Didn't see that move come, did you? What about this? Huh? What about? What about? That! Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh, come on! I was actually trying to get him that time. No! Holy crap, I, like, fell through the freaking world there for a second. Or my hand was, like, through the land. So I guess I wasn't really falling through the world, per se. Per se. Ah! Oh, no, don't go in there. <laughs> I don't think he gets his life back when you do that, but... Whatever, right? If he does, it only takes two seconds. Yeah, yeah. He says the same dying thing. Let's see if I can. Because, of course, the only. Oh, come on, dude! Ah, don't fall off again, please. I, now, I, now you're making me sad. You're making me sad. Alright, toss him. Is he dead now? Oh, he no, he's not dead. Dang it. Okay, so apparently he resets. It's weird, because when you throw him off his royal turf, as in you throw him down the mountain. And then he talked to him. Oh, he's still doing it. Dang it, dude. He, maybe he has to grab you first. Is that how that works? Or is it just timer based? Because he's still following me. I can't get around him. Let's let him grab me, I guess. Don't throw me off the mountain. Be very angry. I just sort of just heard someone knock on my door. But it might have just been the music of this game. I don't see I didn't see anyone walk by my window. So I'm I'm just kinda confused. <laughs> Okay, so this game is actually really short, so I am kind of trying to extend this a little bit. Well, I'm not really trying to extend it, but I'm not trying to rush through everything. Oh! That would have been amazing if I grabbed him. This game will probably only last like 30 parts, if that. What? What? Can't be like a pipsqueak like you used to fuse the bomb arm king. You might be fast enough to grab me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take the King Bowser by the tails. Me thinks. He's used to say me thinks. My troops can learn a lesson from you. Here's your star as I promised, Mario. If I want to see me again, select the star for the menu. For now, farewell. It's so stupid if you want to see me again. Why would anyone want to see his stupid face? I was going to say stupid black face, but I realized probably a little racist. I mean, not really when you look at the context. But taken out of context, it's probably racist. <laughs> You recover one of the stolen power stars, and I could open up some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor in the room with the painting. <gasps> the princess's room. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. So for a second, I thought I'd say you can give up, but I was really confused. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for the stars. Who's saying that? Who's telling me to save you? Who's us? I mean, there's the princess, and I guess the toads. <gasps> Foot race with Koopa de Quick. No, I'm trying to. That's another issue with this game. Long jump and the ground pound are the same buttons. The only difference is you press L while running and. Well, stop Mario. What the heck is going on? You press L then A and then the ground pound is A then L. Which I mean, yeah, it, that's different enough, Chris. Why do you sometimes ground pound by a mistake? Well, a lot of times when you're trying to rush through the game or anything. You'll, you'll press the buttons around the same time, or not really around the same time, you, like, I will press the L and then A, but sometimes the game will register it as me pressing A first for some reason, I don't know why. Hey Mario, is it true that you could beat the Bing Bomb Bomb? Cool! You must be pretty strong and pretty fast, so how about, how, so how fast are you anyway? Are you fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so, so just try me. How about a race to the mountain top where Bing Bomb Bomb was? What do you say? When I say go, the race begins. Ready? Alright, he's gonna say go, and this is gonna be the best race ever. What the hell, man? You didn't say go, you cheating asshole! What the hell, man? Ah! You almost got killed by a goomba. So, <laughs> yeah, he said, I mean, I said go, but he didn't say go, so it's all very confusing. 
Oh no, don't get stuck on the stairs, silly guy. And yeah, it, it's as easy as you think it would be. It's weird that they give you- Oh no! It's weird that they give you a timer. Because, I mean, he's gonna get there at the same time every single time. Because it's not, not like, you know, he's gonna take the same route and all that. So there's gonna be nothing different. Unless, I mean, unless you can get hit by objects and enemies. But I doubt that. Huh, I wonder if that's the thing. I wonder how he gets around those. I'm kind of curious now. How does he get around the bowling balls? He just turns around that corner and we're pissed. Oh no! What does he do? He jumps over them. Okay. That's kind of cool. But what about, like if an enemy gets in his way? I bet he just like clips through the enemies or something. I'm gonna take that. I don't want to die. I don't want to die for my life to be over. <laughs> That's weird. I've never seen anyone actually like watch what he does with the cannonballs. I've got balls of cannons. So there was that shortcut I took in the last level. Don't take it during this race because he'll call you a big fat cheater head and then you'll automatically lose. And then, yeah, you're gonna wait for three and a half years for him to get all the way up here and he actually walks that entire path. Come on, bro, learn the back jump, bro. Cooper, bro. Oh my god, he's eating me! Well, you really are fast. A human blur. Here you go. He won it fair and square. It's his penis! His turtle penis! That's disgusting. Let's take the turtle penis and leave. It's a rare commodity in Europe. Is it? I don't know. It might be. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, screw it. Let's do one more. Who why not, right? Shoot to the island in the sky. Okay. Took me a second there to figure out what that meant. So this one, you're going to want to talk to the ball moms. You'll notice our cannons have been ejected. <laughs> We're peace-loving bones, so we don't use cannons. But if you like to blast off, what are you talking about? You were just using them. But if you like to blast off, help yourself. We'll prepare this cans for you in this, in this course for you. Bon voyage. That that's weird to me, man. They just said you, you guys are liars. Lies. You could reach Star of Floating Island by using the four cannons. There's four, huh? So we talk. These guys are actually in, I believe, every single level in this game. Well, every single level that isn't a one-off level that only has one star in it, like a bonus level, for example, or a Bowser level. Whee! So you use it to shoot off to the sky. Oh my god, it's Koopa the Quick! Koopa the Quick, I want your autograph! Oh no, oh no, oh... Guess what? He's... He's... Dead! Okay, fine, I won't kill him. Jeez, I tried my best. He's too slick for me. He's a turtle, but he's fast. Get it, the joke, you guys? Come on, you walk up the dang thing! <laughs> the Ollie perfectly angled rock. Okay. Okay. So, I always, I remember always talking to see people talking about, oh, if you aim at the bottom of Goofy's nose, this cloud, when you look at it from like here, totally looks like Goofy though, doesn't it? You see the, the, the mouth and the nose. That's about it, really. But I don't know, man. Maybe it's more like towards the bottom of this cloud. Let's try like there. Aha! Holy crap, we even still just about missed that crap. Anyways, this is the secret mystery item I island that floats for some reason. And supplies! There's that inside! Here we go! Here we go! Yeah, so that that's that's it. That 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 that's it. I guess I'm gonna call it an episode here. <laughs> You've recovered three power stars, now you can open any door with a three on its star. Oh my god, is it going to tell me this every time I get a freaking star? You can kind of go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Even meaner than Koopa the Quick, who was very nice to me and gave him gave me his penis. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, the best way to support me and my channel is by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you have any suggestions for games you want to see me play, there's a link in the description down below. Just search, just look at that, and then you can leave a comment there telling me what games you'd like to see me play. And the more game recommendations I see of the same game and thumbs up and such, the more likely I'll be to play that game. So thanks for everybody for watching. I will see you next time.